Adobe shares closing higher today by a little short of a percent. The company announcing new versions of its generative AI model Firefly it aims to produce higher quality images, new types of media. This new edition was trained on about 70 percent more images and includes new ways to control and prompt creation. Joining us now is Adobe CEO Shantanu Narayan. Shantanu, thanks for joining us. From Max, uh, I know you got an investor presentation today, too, but I want to start with the news. So AI that renders humans more accurately, AI for vector art, which I find particularly interesting, making logos, things like that, and now for layouts, too. Um, How is this going to expand the market for you? Well, John, uh, we do miss you uh, here at Max, uh, but it was uh, perhaps the most aggressive set of product announcements that Adobe has made in the 25 years that I've been here. And we've always been of uh, the belief that AI is only going to enhance creativity. To your point, uh, we announced uh, significant new innovation, whether it's in imaging, uh, allowing a new image model to. Uh, we announced uh, Firefly uh, as it relates to design so that you can actually create a complete template from scratch and vector for illustrators, the ability to actually, again, uh, use Firefly to uh, get an on-ramp to their products. I think all these announcements fundamentally enable people who have a creative idea to tell their story faster. And so I think it brings tremendous new growth into the fold. We expect to see hundreds of millions of new users now use this technology uh, in order to be able to uh, create And the last thing I'll say is that we also had some very significant announcements for enterprises. So how enterprises can look at all of the content that they're creating, how they can personalize it with a product called Gen Studio, uh, which brings together all of our products. So really exciting day here at Max and the audience uh, reception to this has been absolutely fabulous. Now, I know you're planning to hold back some of the financial details for Summit in March, but uh, give us a tease here, particularly when it comes to enterprise. You've made a number of uh, AI announcements that have to do with enterprise. Firefly, now this. What's the uptake like from enterprises in these early days? Are they actually creating and training these models with their own data? And what's the margin profile of the enterprise customer going to be compared to the bulk of Creative Cloud? I think, John, when we first announced uh, what we could do with the Firefly models, uh, the excitement around the enterprise was significant because all of them were very concerned about all of the content that they have and uh, would companies uh, step up to being able to indemnify them and ensure that the content was trained properly. So, you know, whether you're a Nike, whether you're a Coke, whether you're a Disney, whether you're NBC, we certainly have the ability right now to say, you can customize your model. So we announced the availability today, so it's uh, early in the development of the process, but it's extremely exciting. Where we've seen more uptake already is with the big agencies. So whether it's Havas, WPP, Publicis, they've all already implemented our entire content generation studio, which allows them to say everything from the campaign brief at the beginning of a creative process to every piece of content that's created and then translated into 40 languages, how we can help them with the automation of that process. That's where there's really been tremendous excitement. Shantanu, what about the marketing side? We're getting ready to get your first batch of of numbers-based predictions on the uh, holiday season, which is so important to the economy overall. Are, Are you seeing AI applied there by customers as well? And do you have any sense uh, that you can give us, early sense that you can give us on the economy state as we head further into Q4? Well, I lost you, John, so I'm not not sure. Yeah, it seems like uh, we're having some trouble with uh, Shantanu's. I think we got you back, Shantanu? Yes, I can hear you now, John. Sorry about that. Yeah, I was just asking you about those Q4 numbers we expect to get from Adobe soon, maybe a little bit of insight into how e-commerce is performing and the degree to which uh, there's AI being implemented in that process as well. I think every single company in the marketing department, John, is already, what I would say, dabbling with this technology. Uh, until they understand the rights, until they understand the indemnification, I would say they're using it more in prototyping rather than in the actual production of content. 
I think today we changed that with our announcement of Gen Studio. And so I, I think it's all ahead of us in terms of how they reduce their costs for marketing. As it relates to Adobe's own numbers, uh, we're actually not doing an uh, intra-quarter update like we've normally done. Uh, but, you know, uh, the business continues to be strong. And, uh, you know, based on our targets that we issued, we expect to have a really strong end to our fiscal year. All right. Uh, based on the numbers that you issued, indeed, Shantanu, thank you.